SJC Libraries, CSE Citations. There are many citation styles used in academic writing, and you may already be familiar with some of the more commonly used styles, such as APA, MLA, or Chicago style. These three styles are supported by the citation management tool that the library subscribes to called Noodle Tools. The citation style typically used for publishing in the life sciences is the CSE style. Note that the CSE is not a style supported by Noodle Tools, so the author must rely on books and websites for guidance. So we've provided a website for guidance for students here at the Callahan Library, and let me show you how to get there. Okay, and from the library homepage, you click on databases and then Callahan list of databases. And we need to change the subject to biology, okay? Because if you look then on the right-hand side, we have some biology course guides. So we're going to click on the first one, Bio 15151. Okay, it's a Callahan Library course guide. If we click on that, we're presented with a little mini website for library support tools for uh, bio students. And if you look across the tabs, there's one titled Citing Sources. Let's click on that. Okay, so this is intended to provide some guidance when you're writing your papers. Okay, the CSE is the acronym for the Council of Science Editors, which is the organizational body that devised this style. The manual title is Scientific Style and Format. CSE manual for authors, editors, and publishers, and it is physically located in the reference section of the Callahan Library. This book provides detailed information about the CSE citations, and you can see it right here on the left-hand side, and this links to the library catalog. Another useful book within the library is called CiteWrite. This handy book provides a quick guide to the CSE style. Feel free to come into the library and ask a librarian to show you where these books are located. Now, the CSE style lets you choose among three ways of citing documents. There's the citation sequence. Citations are numbered, one, two, three, in the order that they appear in the text. Full references appear at the end of the paper in the same order. They are not alphabetized. Then there's the citation name. Citations are numbered with full references at the end of the paper in alphabetical order. The first item cited in the text might be, num uh, might be number eight on the alphabetical list. It would be cited as eight even though it appeared first and eight if it appears again. And then there finally the name year method. Citations in the text are given as name and year, such as McClintock 2017. Full references appear at the end of the paper in alphabetical order, just as they do in APA citations. You should ask your professor which is the preferred way. We've also provided a couple of links to websites with detailed information about the CSE style. And then finally, at the bottom of the page, we discuss plagiarism and how to avoid it. Okay, and as, as you should know, plagiarism is the act of copying, stealing, or representing the ideas or words of another as one's own without giving credit to the source. So we always cite our sources. Okay, thank you for your attention.